Hey guys, so this video is going to be a little bit of a different one. Today I'm going to be showing you how I customised my IKEA Alex storage unit. Now, I wrote a blog post on this a few weeks ago and I also showed the unit in my room tour video a few months ago and I got lots of requests to show you how to do it. So that is what this video is going to be. I hope you guys enjoy it. As you can see behind me, this is the unit we're actually going to be decorating in this video. It's a little bit different to mine, but I wanted to do something different so that you can see just how different you can make them based on your simple colour choices. You can really make them go with your room or any kind of theme that you want to go with. So I hope you enjoy this video and let's get into it. So to start off with, you're obviously going to need the item of furniture you want to customise. I'm using an IKEA Alex. You can use a big one, a small one, or any item of furniture you want to customise. You're also going to need a tape measure and a pencil and some masking tape. I'm using specialist painting masking tape called Frog Tape that you can get from B&Q or Home Base. This stuff's really good because it stops the paint from bleeding through the lines and you get a really crisp line. You're also going to need some paint. I'm using Farrow and Balls Charleston Grey in a state eggshell, but you can use any colour you want. Just make sure it's wood paint or an eggshell finish. You're also going to need a paintbrush. I'm using a one and a half inch paintbrush. You can use any that you want. And you're also going to need a sharp edge object like an old gift card or a credit card. A power drill and somebody who knows how to use it if you don't. And last but not least, some knobs for the front of the unit. Mine are from Laura Ashley and Zara Home. I would definitely recommend Zara Home for really, really pretty doorknobs. They have a great selection. The first thing you want to do is to mark out the centre of each drawer using your tape measure and your pencil and this doesn't need to be neat because you're not going to be able to see it when the chest of drawers is finished. Next up we're going to take our tape. Now this tape is actually 24 millimeters wide which fits perfectly 15 times into an IKEA Alex. So what I'm doing to start off with is cutting six small strips of tape and using them as spacers to ensure that your stripes are perfectly even and that they are matching. If you want bigger painted stripes and smaller um, clear stripes then you can play around with the tape, you can do double tape um, which is what I did on my bigger IKEA Alex to create thicker stripes but this is the easiest way to do it. It's quite hard to explain but if you actually watch me doing it it's really really simple and easy to do and once you have done this to the whole unit all you need to do is take away all the little spaces and you're left with perfectly even stripes ready to paint. So then you want to go ahead and paint on the first layer of paint onto your unit. Now this might actually look very very straight key to start off with because the finish of IKEA furniture is usually pretty shiny but what you want to do is paint on as even a layer as you can make sure it's not too thick otherwise it will take ages to dry and then you want to wait for it to fully dry before painting on your second and third coats of paint if you need a third coat I actually needed three coats so here you can see me going in with the second coat and the layers actually just get more and more opaque as you go. Don't worry too much about the holes between the drawers getting a little bit of paint in them. We're going to sort that out a bit later on. It's also worth mentioning at this point as well, make sure you put some cardboard or newspaper down if you are painting your unit inside. Otherwise you may get to paint all over your carpet or floor. I'm also painting the sides of my unit because I like the way it looks. You can leave them white if you want to, but I'm painting mine. And then once you've finished on your final coat, what you want to do is wait for it to dry. I actually left mine for about five or six hours, but leave it overnight if you can. And then you can pull off your masking tape. This is the fun bit. And like magic, you have perfectly crisp white lines. This is where using the frog tape comes in handy because if you have used normal masking tape, you may well have got some paint that has bled through underneath the tape. Now if you have this it's not too much of a problem, all you need to do is take an old gift card or credit card, something with a kind of sharp blunt edge, you can use a razor blade if you feel comfortable doing so and you just want to kind of scratch this off. It may take a little while but it should be pretty easy and like I said if you do use the frog tape then that works perfectly and for any extra paint that's gone on to the top of the drawers as well you can just scrape it off really easily. Next you're going to take your electric drill, I actually got Mike to do this because I'm useless with a drill and you want to drill holes for your little doorknobs where you have marked marked out the centre of the units. Another thing not to forget is to choose the right width of drill bit for your appropriate draw knob that you have chosen. Then you want to go in with your hoover and just hoover up any stray sawdust you have left behind with your electric drill both on the outside and also on the inside of the drawers as well. Then we are ready for our draw knobs. Now I've chosen a selection of different ones because I really like that kind of antique looking eclectic look but you can choose all the same, any colour you want, 
like I said in the beginning, Zara Home have the best selection in my opinion. And you just pop these in and then pop the washer and the nut on the back and you are finished. So this is the finished draw unit that I did today, but you can use any colour or any draw knobs that you want to customise your drawers. I know a lot of people have these IKEA Alex units for storing makeup in, so I hope some of you found this useful. And make sure you tweet me a picture if you guys do this at home, because I would love to see the colour combinations you choose. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, please don't forget to subscribe and I will see you again on Monday. Bye! Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you my nighttime routine for a typical Sunday. Now, most Sundays I tend to have a bit of a pamper session and just prepare myself for the week ahead. And I usually start by running myself a nice hot bath and you